Hi, this is Justin from scalemodelscenery.co.uk and uh, welcome to video blog number six, I think it is. Um, I've been quite busy again this week with various things. Had a large delivery in from a couple of suppliers, uh, some of the bits I'll show you in a bit, them in a few minutes, uh, the new lines we've got in. Uh, one thing we have been doing this week is we've been concentrating on converting more kits over to laser cut um, and having ch chatted to a few people, uh, we're now going to offer all of our uh, standard building kits like this, like the seven foot Victorian red brick wall KX006. It's one of the most popular kits we do. Um, it builds that wall. And we're now going to offer that in laser cut, the pre printed version. It'll only be available in laser cut. So we're going to phase out the uh, plain card versions. Still available as a download, of course, from modelrailwayscenery.com. Um, but the pre printed version will always come now with laser cut base layers. So it makes it much easier to assemble. Here's the the base layers that you get in there. So everything's pre-cut, you've got the coping and uh, the pillar wrap, uh, pillar base layers, the main wall base layers and the central base layers there. So they all come pre-cut now, it makes it much, 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 much easier to assemble. Uh, a little bit more expensive because obviously the time it takes us to cut it, but it's only a pound or two more on that. So it's a great value kit. And it builds, I think, up to, up to 60 inches of wall if you build it single sided and 30 inches of wall if you do it double sided so you get three strips of this. Um, very very sturdy layered card, um, very durable and you've got the recessed panels in there, lots of weathering, the coping stones on the top so it's a nice bit of kit. Uh, no visible cut card edges at all on it once it's complete so it looks just like the real thing. So that's what that. Uh, culverts which I mentioned the other week or a few weeks ago now uh, they are 99.9% .9 complete. I've done some changes on them this week uh, and I've been speaking to Ian. Ian came down, the chap that does a lot of the uh, uh, videos for Kilbrett layout. He came down this afternoon so we did a bit of tweaking on this to make these better and um, perfect them a little bit. So we've adjusted a few holes on there, the, the positions for the pipes on there, the holes for the pipes and adjusted the wraps. So now all you can see, I've just got to finish the instructions. So I'm going to put my pictures in there and sort that out. Those will be ready for Wednesday next week. They will be complete and finished. It'll be a pack of six, um, LX086 they'll be, uh, but yeah, available from next Wednesday. Uh, what else have we done? Uh, been doing a few things be behind the scenes, trying to get stuff a bit more, again, a bit more organized. We've been working on uh, simple instruction sheets for the folks that are working here. Now it's not just me running the laser cutter and Tina running the laser cutter. There's other people helping us out here. We've got uh, a brother-in-law and my sister and people like that helping us out. So we've done, started to create some simple sheets there. So I've been working on those. Obviously, I know you guys, you don't need get to see these, so you don't need to use these, but for, it helps us um, keep things running nice and smoothly behind the scenes. Um, right. Also this week in the laser room, bear with me a second. We have uh, a new range of cork underlay. You might have seen it on the website. New range of cork underlay strips. Comes in strips, reels, uh, flat sheets, and all sorts. Uh, this is from a company called SPD. We're stocking their range of um, 00 and N gauge underlay now. Uh, and that one's the 930mm by 35mm, 3mm thick underlay for double O gauge. You get four strips in there. The N gauge version, 3mm uh, thick, 25mm uh, wide, and again 930mm. That one's got eight strips in that. Most of the most of the products are around about a five around about the five pound mark. Great value, ideal for reducing noise on your layout. Uh, so very easy to use. You can just glue it down with PVA or air contact adhesive, that sort of thing. And pin your track to it or pin your track through it into the baseboard. So we've got that in stock. Um, also doing the cork bark from them which is great for quick and easy uh, rock faces, things like that. Uh, but it's all on the website on scalemodelscenery.co.uk. Right, uh, in from our suppliers this week. Had a big delivery from Prizer. Got, these are a bit like Adam's barriers but um, these ones are interlocking actually. Um, traffic control barriers. Or, if you like, or roadworks barriers. You can see there on the picture how they're intended to be used. Those come in a pack of, I think it's 16 or 18, I'm not sure now. I can't remember, it doesn't say on it. Uh, but these actually interlock, so. And these are HO scale, but also suitable for double O gauge. Uh, also back in stock, long-awaited barrels. These are extremely popular. Beer barrels and crates. 
we've got half a dozen packs I think of those in stock now so if you were after those before and missed out we've got some more uh, what else we've got more barrels more barriers um, Oh, scaffolding kits. Now, these have been on order with Prizer for about two years. Uh, but they finally come in. We had six packs come in, and we've got, I think, one pack left now. This is this pack here is reserved for Amy and Neil, I believe. Uh, but I've got more on order again. Hopefully, we'll get them in next week. So if you've missed out again on those, I'll have some more probably around Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Uh, what else? Oh, Aquamagic. Deluxe Materials, their new... Uh, What's it modeling material for realistic water? Ever so easy to use. I shared the video for this thing in last weekend's newsletter or weekend before, probably. But it's coming to stock now. We've got the uh, large bottles, the DB64s, and the, the smaller bottles, which is 125 mil, which is the BD65. Uh, Ever so easy to use. You can um, layer it up basically, you um, create your river, canal. Um, lake bit of ocean whatever you want and you uh, basically spread this on allow it to dry add an extra layer allow it to dry and keep building up in layers very straightforward uh, so that's aqua magic um, what else loads of figures back in stock uh, church goers ideal for use with the metcalf churches super quick churches and the scale scenes one they're quite useful for that uh, we've got oh another these again these have been out of stock for ages Prizer 10351, uh, seated industrial workers. They've at last come back in. These are brilliant for trackside scenes, uh, dockside scenes, all sorts, any factory scene, period factory scene, that kind of thing. Great for detailing those. Uh, what's this? Workers in prote protective clothing, I think. Yeah, workers in protective clothing. 10423, the Prizer number. They're back in stock as well. Again, these are at HO, but they're perfect for use on double O scale layouts. Um, there is a slight difference in height, but it's about half, well, I don't know, one millimetre or something, so it doesn't make much difference. Um, what else? Uh, DCC Concepts Weathering Powders. The uh, This is the general building's mix, mixed set. Uh, ever so easy to use, set of weathering powders there, come with a brush and uh, cotton buds for applying the, the powders. can be used on anything from buildings to... Uh, all sorts of infrastructure, locos, wagons, even down to ve uh, road vehicles, that sort of thing. So that's that. Uh, more barrels, more barriers. Uh, Gage Master back scenes back in stock. We've got the GM 708 uh, large town back scene. That's back in stock. It's been out of stock for a while. Um, what else? We have uh, 10089 Photographers and Prizer. Uh, we've got, what's that one? That's a 10350 Industrial Workers and Dockers. So they're similar to the 10351. In fact, the perfect um, complement to the 10351 set. You've got the standing Industrial Workers and Dockers there. So make a great pair of those for an industrial scene. Uh, we've got, um, looks like, what's that? Truckers. These will fit in the Oxford diecast, um, Eddie Stobart uh, lorries and other trucks that they do in their range, they'll fit in there. So you've got three seated drivers, and uh, oh no, four seated drivers and two standing drivers. As if they You can pose those as if they're just about to get in, into their truck or uh, approaching the truck. Then we've got um, waiting passengers in 00 scale. These are the part of the prize's actual 00 scale range, the 73001. Slightly more expensive than the standard HO prize range, but they're well worth the money. They're really well painted. They look absolutely brilliant in the layout. And then Fala Cats and Dogs, uh, 154012, that pack. So that's great for street street detailing and uh, you know the odd stray cat and stray dog wandering around. Uh, what else? Engage, uh, Engage wheel cleaning brush. Brilliant little bits of kit. We've got the double O gauge version as well, the GM60. This is the GM59 for N gauge. Uh, all you do, pop it on, the tr on your track that way, uh, turn the power up on your track, uh, to, or the power to your track up, place your loco on the top, and it'll, the wheels will spin and they'll clean on the brass brushes on the top there. Really simple, very effective, and great way of keeping your loco, locos running nice and smoothly. Another bestseller. Really popular this one. If you've not played around with static grass before, this is a great way of, of getting started. 
comes with a big bag of static grass and glue and magic bit of kit, the scenic puffer bottle. All you do is pop the static grass into the bottle, give it a shake, just like rubbing a balloon on your chest or on your clothing, you know, to get static electricity and stick it to the ceiling. You do a similar sort of thing, you pop the grass in there, give it a shake, builds up the static energy, turn the bottle over, grass, uh, glue on your layout and then you puff the bottle or shake the bottle and it, the grass all lands standing up just like real grass. Great way to have a go at it and get used to also perfect your technique before you invest in a more expensive applicator. So that's brilliant. Um, what else? Oh, Massey Ferguson uh, M5, uh, uh, MF8. Elizabeth's just waving her hands. What's that mean, Elizabeth? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Stop soon. No, it's ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right, I better stop then soon. Okay, I'll stop waffling. Uh, Massey Ferguson MF8280 from Viking. Fantastic little models if you've got a farm scene. Well worth the money. Um, this is the 038540. So that's about it. The rest of it is glues, uh, mostly the deluxe material range, which I think the majority of you know and probably use already. Um, a few more bits from Prizer. If you have a look on the website, scalemodelscenery.co.uk, click on the uh, news and what's new link on the top of the page. Uh, you'll find a complete list of everything we've got back into stock this week. There was, um, I don't know, 30 or 40 different lines came back in. So have a look on there. Thank you for watching. Sorry it's a long one this week. I've waffled on a bit, probably too much. So I'll see you again next week, perhaps with another tutorial. Okay, cheers.